because we come from the liquid cooling space, quality and reliability is super important. I think you can easily imagine that if we sell a liquid cooler to Alienware and the fluid comes out, it may ruin your hardware and your computer, but it will also give Dell a quality problem. They may need to send back the entire PC, etc. So therefore, selling to the OEMs, quality and reliability is, is really a key thing. And that's what we have focused a lot on and we will be focusing a lot on with our products. We don't want to see our products more than once and that's when we say goodbye to them. One of the ways we do that is if we look at, for example, the pedal arm design here, I have to say that I think it looks really cool and really nice, but it actually did not look exactly like this from the beginning. The opening up here was actually larger and we did a lot of finite element analysis. We did a lot of testing. We'll show you our test rig in a second. So we don't just construct our stuff and go into production. We actually test it and we test it and we test it. Our pedals are, pedal arms, for example, have been tested millions of times already. And as you can see, th this one here actually comes from, I don't remember if it was 116,000 activations before it gave in with 200 bars of pressure. Of course, we don't want you to experience a, a, a brake arm like this. So therefore, we change our designs until they are able to withstand what we want them to withstand. And that's how we ended up with this unique design that we have right here. So as I explained to you before, we have this opposite moving pistons here. So I removed the polymer, and as you can see now, when I press the brake pedal, that piston will retract itself into the housing. So just before um, mounting the polymer, I just wanted to show you that how you can uh, limit the amount of travel and, and get this uh, ultra hard feeling uh, of a real race car by adjusting this. As you can see, if I adjust it like this, this is now the maximum pressure uh, or the maximum travel rather than I can ever get. And if we remove this again. So the outer finger nut is just for locking. Uh, so you. So this one will not slide around while you're driving, but you can do all your adjustments without this. So now I have a fair amount of preload. You can see that the brake pedal is hot. If I want to replicate the feeling of having some air or some space between the brake pad and, and the brake disc, I can loosen this a couple of uh, revolutions. And now you'll see I get this, this space between the brake piston and or the brake um, disc and the, the pad. So it's, it's very true to a real race car feeling. I can tell you my son in his GT3 car would love or does love when the brake pedal feels like this. This is, this is how you want it.